What's up guys? This is Adit from Tech is Easy and today I'm going to show you how to use Google Drive. So Google Drive is a place where you can store all of your files. Then using that you can share it with others and because it's stored in the cloud, it won't use any space on your PC. So I'm sure if you're an Android user, you would have a Google Drive account because many things like photos, they get backed up on Google Drive or even if you use Gmail, many of the emails they get backed up onto Google Drive. But if you don't have an account, I'll just show you how to create one. First, you'll just have to search Google Drive. After that, just click on the first link. Then click on go to drive. And now if you don't have an account, you'll just have to create one or else you'll see your drive. So I'll quickly show you the user interface. So on the left over here, where it's written new, you can upload files and folders onto the drive. So if I just click on it, you can see that they have an option of file upload, folder upload, or else if you want to upload Google Docs, Google Sheets. So if you want to upload anything on Google Drive, this is where you'll have to go. Then in my drive, you'll see all of your documents which you have over here. So this is currently what I have on my drive. After that computers, so where you have an option to back up everything which is on your computer onto your drive. So they have something called backup and sync. And if you install that, then every time you save a file onto your PC, it'll automatically get uploaded onto your drive. After that, the next section is shared with me. So over here, you'll see everything that's been shared with you. Then recent is a combination of what's shared and what you've opened. Then on the start, you'll find all of the start documents. And then on the right, you can see that they have this vertical pane over here. So over here, you can access some of the Google apps like Google Calendar, Google Keep. And as you can see, Google Keep has opened over here and you won't have to go to a new tab. So now let's get into the main part, which is uploading documents, uploading folders, and how all of that works. So you can upload in two ways. You can either click on new, which is written over here, then click on file upload. After that, you can select any file. So if I select this one, I'll just click on it and click on open. And now you can see that it started uploading. Or the second way to upload is by opening your library. After that, just make the window smaller and then just select whichever files you want to upload and then you can drag it. And as you can see, it's getting added again. And the same way, you can upload folders onto your drive. Then over here, they also have a different viewing option. So if you just click on this icon over here, they have a list view or else you can go back to the grid view. So now I'm going to show you how to save a Google Sheets or Google Docs document onto your drive. So just click on new and then you can select, let's say Google Docs. And as you can see, they've opened a new doc and now whatever I name it. So for now, I've just called it trial. And now if I just go back to my drive and if I go to recent, then over here you can see the trial has come over here. The same way you can go to Google Sheets or Google Slides and it'll get saved over here. After this, I'm going to show you how to create a folder. So all you've got to do is right click anywhere on the screen. After that, click on new folder. So I'll just name it. I'll create it. And now whichever files you want to add, if they're on the drive, then you can drag it. So if I want to add this one, I can just drag it onto it. And now it's gone. Please come here. Or if it's on your PC, you can just open the folder. After that, right click and then click on upload files. And now from here, you can upload any file you want. So this is basically how folders work. After this, I'm going to show you how to share folders or documents. For that, just go to the document. So let's say I want to share this thumbnail. I'll just click on it. And over here, you can see that there's an option to share it with others. So I'll just click on that. After that, you can add the email ID. So for now, I've just added a random email ID. Then I can decide whether they have editing rights or they can only view or comment. So I'll just keep it view. After that, if you want to notify the person, click on this box over here and you can also type a message. And once this is done, just click on send. Then they also have another way to share. So if you just click on the document and then click on this icon, which is to get a link. So if you just click on that, so over here you can see a link and if you copy it and share it to a person, then you can decide whether anyone with the link can see the document, only certain people. So if I keep anyone with this link, whoever uses this link, they can see this document. After that, I'll just show you some other settings. So if you click on a document, then right click, you can see that they have many settings over here. So preview is basically to see it. After that, I showed you share and get link. 
then you have an option to move it so if you want to move it to a folder you can just click on move to and after that you can see that all the folders have showed up over here and then after that you can add to start or rename or else you can just make a copy download or delete so if i delete it you can see that it's gone from my drive but if i go to trash then it remain here for 30 days and i can just restore it by right clicking and clicking on restore and now after this the last setting is storage so if i just go there over here you can see a list of documents which are in an order of size if you have any backups you can just click on that and see the backups over here and one thing you'll have to note is that they only give you a limited storage so currently they only give 15 gb free and if you want more like 100 or 200 gb they have monthly and yearly plans so you'll have to get that so this is basically how it works and i hope this video helped you and if it did don't forget to hit that subscribe button and i'll see you in the next one goodbye